Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. I'm sitting at a cafe, it's actually lunchtime and we're all like working from home but I need food right? Had my lunch already and just spending the rest of my hour just chilling out. I know the environment's different, it's an open place. You might be hearing some chatter from the other customers and you might be hearing the background music that's being played here but I hope you don't mind. And the reason for today's video is, you read the title, it is all about pry bars and my experience with pry bars so far. Before I carry on, I want to give G-Man a shout out because G-Man called me out on this. He said, half a year ago, I received my first pry bar, which is this from Yongqiang. And I kept my promise. I put this on my EDC the very next day after he gave it to me. And it's been on my EDC in my bag ever since then, every single day. Time passed and you guys remember I met Hong Fu and he actually gave me two more pry bars. He gave me this one here and he gave me this one here. So I now have three pry bars and I gotta admit that I haven't really EDC these other two. I've always kept this in my bag because you know it could be something that I would reach out for whenever I need it. And these are all by Mindo. And I'm looking up his Etsy store right now because I don't want to get the models wrong. But I think this might be the EXO pry bar. Um, but this one should be in stainless steel. I could be wrong. EXO, right? EXO. And then the medium size one, this one here, is the Gen 1 pry bar because it's got a pocket clip thingy here. And the last one, the smallest one here, is called the M bar mini pry. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I got those names correct because I don't want to be disrespectful. My most recent acquirement as well is a multi tool, but it also consists of a pry bar as part of it. It is the Gerber pry bread utility and the reason why i got it is because i don't own a utility knife and i thought well just try it out because you know it has a retractable utility blade thought it'd be cool but it also comes with a pry bar i'll just quickly run through some of the features on certain pry bars like this multi-tool over here has a pry bar portion that includes a kind of a nail remover and the two halves with that split can be used and repurposed as flathead screwdrivers but come on it's way too thick as in way too wide to be flathead screwdrivers it also has a bottle opener some other features are like a cord cutter in this part and of course a retractable uh, utility blade like so uh, it's got a lanyard slot here as well but no pocket clip so let's move on to the smallest one the m bar this one features a hammered finish it is a very beautifully done uh, pry bar i should say it does have three o-rings around it to hold this tool bit here that's quite a cool addition to have but uh, the rubber o-rings that initially came with it were black in color and i think that because they were too dry or something they were already starting to rip apart so i just replaced them with whatever random o-rings i could find and i found these three green ones so i put them on and in here is a separate bit that i put in this one i can't remember where it's from but it's double-sided it has a phillips head and a flat head screwdriver one on each end and you have that driver tool here in the form of the bottle opener as well so you've got the pry end which is quite steep and you've got a nail remover slot in the middle then you've got bottle opener with of course that bit driver tool and you've got an oxygen tank opener that could also double up as a lanyard slot that's the m bar then we move on to the gen 1 pry bar this one has a pocket clip it has three different sized uh, i guess you could call it like hex drive bit slots hex bit slots you've got some kind of jimping at the sides or along the sides i should say that can act as some kind of a measurement marking thing i don't know this part here looks like a bottle opener you've got a lanyard slot this one is definitely a lanyard slot or a key ring slot and you've got of course the pry itself and this one isn't as steep as the mini the m bar so it's a bit more gentle i guess in terms of a pry bar i think this would be a better application in my opinion and then last but not least is the axle i may be wrong so i'm sorry but this axle also contains this slot here that holds a bit tool you got a hex bit driver slot as well so you could use this in there you've got the pry tip with a nail remover slot in the middle and this one is also quite gentle very much like the gen one but a little bit longer uh, you know more real estate and you have a bottle opener up here you've got an oxygen tank opener here as well and you've got a slot for your lanyard or a key ring slot out of all of these this is currently on my edc but this has always been on my edc for the past six months so these two are actually being carried on me right now and i have to admit i've only used a pry bar once ever and that was to undo a couple of latches because we had to remove a set of blinds from a window because you know i mentioned to you guys during one of the anyhow try episodes that the office was undergoing some renovation so we basically had to take the blinds off and 
this came in handy. That's the only reason why I had to use the pry bar. There were blinds here installed and I had to open up the hinge to get the blinds down. But apart from that, I'll be honest, I never used my pry bar. And also this size, it fits well in my pencil case. It's about the size of a pen. Let me just grab my Thai Scribe Bolt Mini. So it's about the same length or a little bit longer than the Thai Scribe Bolt Mini. Of course, a bit shorter than the Thai Scribe Bolt full size, but yeah, you know, the average size of a pen bit thicker of course but definitely much heavier and the fact that I have these two but never used it also says quite a lot about the applications of a pry bar uh, according to an individual lifestyle thank you Hong Fu because I think they are really really cool gifts but I never saw myself needing to put a pry bar onto my keys because you guys know I carry my keys in a key bar and this doesn't fit in and it also doesn't go along with the key bar so this has just been at my desk at home in case I need it and this one's actually been at my desk in the office in case I need it and this one's always in my backpack so I always carry this and then I have one pry bar at my desk either at home or at work the two places I frequent the most and then this is currently on my EDC I've not used this one yet but I do have to say that looking at this pry bar here this is a lot thinner versus this but the angle is roughly the same so they should slide under like nails or something uh, quite quite well. But I do have to say that, you know, uh, for my lifestyle, because I work in a, I don't really want to call it a corporate environment because I work in an agency. So at least in an office environment, there really isn't much requirement for a pry bar. I could picture people who are like, for example, working in a workshop environment all day, or maybe it could be woodworking, it could be painting uh, in a warehouse. Yes, I think a pry bar would come in really, really handy. And then possibly to have one with a pocket clip, that might work the best because I could picture like if you need to open up paint cans, if you want to remove a nail from a crate so you could open the crate up, or if you need to split wood, or if you need to use this, for example, as a baton or like a driving tool and then you hammer on the back of it, I can understand because these are things that a lot of people use their pocket knives for and that's not what you want to use your knife for because you risk breaking and snapping the blade right so the pry bar in my opinion comes in handy for those kind of situations but for me really um not so much like i've used the bottle opener right i have because sometimes you know you get a drink and then you realize man i don't have a bottle opener on me and i use this but I mean, let's face it, right? This has a bottle opener. This has a bottle opener. This has a bottle opener. One of the spinners that I carry with me has a bottle opener. I could also use my key as a bottle opener. Bottle openers are cool to have. They're quite a common addition to any multi-tool in my opinion nowadays. So a bottle opener is actually pretty common, you know? You probably already have something on your EDC that has a bottle opener. So uh, yeah, just... If you need a pry bar, a solid pry bar that has a bottle opener, then sure. But in my situation, uh, I gotta say that recording this video now and sharing my thoughts with you guys is making me rethink whether or not I need to carry this as an EDC. I probably may not because on hindsight, undoing the latch for the blinds could have been done with this pry bar in my drawer and my desk you know i don't really need to reach into my bag to take this out i don't know i mean i'd like to hear you guys thoughts on this uh for me i think that for my lifestyle and the things that i do on the daily i don't really need a pry bar like even for my hobbies for example in terms of knife maintenance i don't need it in terms of playing with my spinners or maintaining my spinners if i want to change out a bearing i don't need a pry bar when i go to dj and i have my equipment i don't need a pry bar when i go to work being a project manager i don't need a pry bar it's kind of like an item that i would classify as something that i would like to have just in case i ever need it you know it's kind of like one of those better safe than sorry kind of situations so yeah that's this pry bar so um i want to give a big shout out to yong Chang for this because this has been on my edc and you can tell it's still in pristine condition because i have rarely used it and also thanks to hong fu for these two I really appreciate it. I'm not saying that I I don't like them and I'm not saying that I'm never going to use them. But yeah, this is just, you know, uh, really thank you to you guys for giving me the opportunity to actually own Pi Bars and put it on my EDC. But for my 
situation, my lifestyle and the things that I do on the daily, I don't see a need to have to purchase a pry bar to put on my EDC. So that's my verdict and I'm sure it's going to be different for everyone. Now that you guys have heard my thoughts on having a pry bar, maybe it would help you shed more light if you've been considering whether or not you need a pry bar. Hopefully this helps you out. It's definitely something that is good to have just maybe not every day so I'm gonna have to rethink how I organize my stuff I might put this on my EDC and then leave this one at home instead G-Man I hope this answers your question I really did try my best to put this on my EDC Yong Chiang I really did try my best to put it on my EDC uh, but that is it and if you enjoy this content and you want to see more please consider subscribing to the channel and if you do make sure that you hit the notification bell and turn on notify all make sure you do that because now is an extra step to be notified of any new uploads that i put out also i run a patreon page i'll put a link up here to that and if you guys want to check it out and you eventually become a patron of mine thank you so much in advance you'll find some exclusive stuff on the patreon page as well as exclusive giveaways for the patrons only once again this has been my thoughts on what it's been like to edc a pry bar whether i need it or not whether you might need a pry bar or not. And I'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then, everyone, gaga.